with Raju Prajapati. Oh, hi, Salja. How are you? Hi, Raju. I'm fine. How about you? I'm doing good. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, dear friends, we are here to discuss about the, uh, I mean, from crux, from everything about CFTRI, from Salja, who has uh, done a master's from CFTRI only. So, let's uh, uh, get into the topic. Okay, so Salja, how was your journey in CFTRI? Just tell in brief. Yeah, the CFTRI journey was very good. In fact, it's a dream for every food tech student, I think. Even though I'm not in the food tech, but I have completed my CFTRI journey very, uh, like, life full of enjoyment. When you see the memories, I can say more about CFTRI. Great, yeah. See, I mean, yeah, I see the you know, charming people, you know, they want to, you know, they are even ready to sacrifice even years and years of for CFTRI. Right? So I can feel the vibe and how you guys enjoy, right? So, uh, what is unique about CFTRI? Right? Why people are really, you know, they are ready to even give for years in you know, one year, two year, even and they prepare for second year and third year, even what is so unique? See, uh, like unique is CFTRI itself is a unit. As you know, it is called as Matka and Madina for food technology student and it's a premier university or premier college, I should say institute, not actually college, institute for food, te food technology students where every food particles or every food related things are going on and going in front. There you have more and more scientists, world best scientists. They teach you, they guide you. They help you in every process of your education, not only in education, in food also. So this makes CFTRA very unique from all other institutes, where you have scientists, where you have lot of lot of opportunities, and more, like you can have any kind of instruments, whichever is necessary for further studies. So this makes very unique. And when it comes for MSc placements, and also education quality of education i should say indeed which this makes unique about cftr oh great yeah so no i can feel like makkah and marina was really great it was a great you know metaphor okay so uh like syllabus is generally very vast i mean i see uh cftr only has a 10 subjects i i, I haven't seen any any examination kind of that has a you know more than even six to uh, seven subjects, but yeah, CFTA is that's what unique and different is. So the syllabus is really uh, was how to cover the syllabus. It has ten subjects, and every year it keeps on changing. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. CFTA people wants uh, the student who they take intake. They want them to be updated. So you have to go for updated syllabus version. When it comes to syllabus, I don't feel like it's much deep or vast. Like, yeah, 10 subjects are more, but when you see these all are like when they have a question paper, these all are having a basic sets. Like when you go for plus two, these are the portions which you have to read or go through for the CFTRA entrance. Exam. So plus two subjects are not much hard. PCAP, those who are science background, they will uh, like almost they'll be having PCMB as the choice syllabus so they can go for it. The other thing is general ability and mental ability and general learning. These two are the new topics which have been added recently. And the other two topics are like related to agriculture and some uh, related to home science and the, uh, not, not actually home science, like microbiology and all they are asking, food chemistry, nutrition. So like when you say if you go for very deep, then the subject is very vast. But it's like basics are the uh, main theme of this exam. So you don't have much like vast subject. Number of subjects are more, but in terms you have to not like go very deep. Yeah, fine, fine. Yeah, understood. Okay. So one of the frequent asked questions is like, you no, know, sir, what you know, if I'm having a background of food science and technology or food technology or someone is having home science, agriculture, horticulture. So people, I mean, students are really confused that either you know, I am eligible to appear for that or CFTR is going to get accepted or not, even though if I qualify the examination. So uh, what do you say about that? What are the branches that are eligible for that? Yeah, yeah. 
this was very important question to be very much so most of our juniors and everyone will be asking this question in fact cft offers masters for those who have completed their graduation in any science background either they might go for home science courses or farm science courses any professional courses or any normal degree courses from universities like bsc in biotechnology or bsc in microbiology some way or even they can like Uh, students who have B Tech in food technology, they can also go for it. B Tech in food engineering, they can also go. Anything which is related to science background, like not those who are like uh, completely deviated from science background, no, they are not eligible. But those who are in science background, who are related to farm science and these agricultural sciences courses, they can uh, go for this. Even B Sc in biology, B Sc B Sc in C B Z combination. These yeah. BS graduations can also go for this year, the CFT right? Okay, yeah, so I mean, lot of uh, you know branches are eligible, so competition is high. Really? Nine. Okay. Of, uh, entrance mm -hmm. wide, like intake wide uh, graduation intake is eligible for. Okay, what is the exam pattern? Uh, exam pattern, as usual, like from all these ten. There is no such blueprint. I have already mentioned in your video. I think there is no su such blueprint or CFT or exam like a fifteen marks from this topic. No, it no changes. such. Blueprint. It, it changes. It changes year by. It changes. It changes on the person yeah. uh, preparing question paper. It changes like, like it changes uh, every year. Some year like in two thousand, I guess two thousand fourteen or fifteen, there was more agriculture questions. And uh, previously they were no, we were not having any such negative marks and all, but now they have included. As in, as coming to ex exam pattern, there are as usual hundred questions. They'll give you same timing, one minute, and uh, same as marks. usual and subjects, same marks, not uh, plus question. Minus marks is like negative marks are there, like negative marks is almost point two five. Plus one minus point two five. Uh, previously it was minus point three three, but they have changed for point two five, and the syllabus also changed, you know. So they have changed for this uh, point. No. Uh, is there any minimum number, minimum cut off that uh, if you get? Uh, you know, in years that I have seen, like it de de depends on the year or completion by year. But what do you believe? Either it is something that is a minimum criteria, or it depends on the year uh, how many students has appeared and what they are scoring. Yeah, this would be also the criteria. But previously, uh, like before 2020, I, as I say, there were like minimum cutoff was 50. You should score above 50 marks, then you are eligible for yeah. CFT. But because of this 2020, there was a rule from Supreme Court which changed. Like they should yeah. fill the they should fill the seats. Whichever mm -hmm. seats are for uh, MSc, they should fill the seats. So based on the ranking or based on the marks, they'll fill the seats. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, generally, what is the timing of examination? A lot of students ask like, sort of when the uh, notice will be out and when the examination will happen. What would that? Uh, timing of examination it entirely depends when the notification is out. Usually, it will be in the morning session. Sometimes even afternoon session also. It is like divided. Morning usually I have seen morning section and it is no online exam. Okay, uh, so it is usually the morning session and uh, as usual from nine to twelve that is the timing for CFTR exam. And notification you have to go through during July, June, July, August. During that time they'll give a exam application form notification. Anyway, you have to be updated. Last year and all because of COVID and this pandemic situation, they have changed the path. Like uh, they have changed the notification time. But usually admissions will be done and tested by December. So before that only, they'll have yeah. exams. August will be the most time for having exams. Like uh, it changes. So we have to completely have update on the CFTRA website. So that would help you. Oh, all right, all right, okay. So. Uh... How I mean? Would you like to share something? Any you know good moments with last two years? How how it you know how to grooms the two years of a journey? 
I mean, generally, uh, ultimately, we are going to get placed in that. So that's what we are going to talk in the next couple of minutes. Yeah, also generally, we aim for getting good placements, and for that, we do this hard work. Okay, so a little bit of uh, memories you would like to share with that is going to inspire the students in two years. Yes, they yes, are like I don't need to inspire much students, as you know, when you see the uh, like building. Or a institute photo that inspires a lot for the students. As oh, I feel, yes. it was my whenever I used to see CFTRA, like I have done my graduation in uh, Mysore only. When I have seen CFTRA, uh, strength day, I used to get some goosebumps so that I like it. It induces me to motivates me to study and go inside yes. there. Usually, you know, CFTRA people will not allow you inside of CFTRA, and. Oh. In, Uh, only those who have certification and all entrance or something uh, that only they will allow. Or else, like publics are not allowed inside. Only one day will be there. That is for public. Or else, it is like it is completely a Thank dream you. of student. So when it comes to placement, they have very good placements. There is no doubt about it. And how like people know how CFR placements are going on because it is a brand. See, having masters from CFTRA, you are carrying a brand of CFTRA, and people right. will really expect you to join their companies or join their startups to have a good future. Why? Because because of the lot of opportunities and quality of education. And when it comes to memory, see, it is a book of memory. I can say box of memory. Yeah. I can feel more, much, much, much more. Like uh, my experience, I was not a person like. In the social media, I can you can see what changes CFTRA got me, and I'm speaking in front of you. So this is my experience. If my words feel short, or I can't express the things of my CFTRA memories and it what it has given to me. And yeah, even you can for uh, future studies also higher studies, even uh, placement opportunities are good, very good in fact. Even you have a opportunity for higher studies. We can have higher studies in CFTR also, giving so many like entrance exams, and in other institutes mm -hmm. we can go for abroad also. Yeah, and on one of the best thing is like I believe it is a very vast and you know prestigious alumni alumni you know uh, that you know makes it grand you know and very good to go you also finding someone from CFTR isn't that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is very good. CFTR alumni is very strong and very big actually. Uh, the current uh, present director of CFTR is also alumni of a master CFTR. Oh wow! So, yeah, and uh, there was a scientist who used to teach us uh, food engineering. So once he said, "I am very proud, but I feel very bad. Like I have not studied masters in CFTR." But I'm very proud. I'm seeing, teaching you CFTR students. He was like, wherever I step in this world, I'll find a CFTR student who can help me mm. or who can wherever I step in this world. He was so proud, saying my CFTR students are spreaded like all over the world. So this is very vast alumni of CFTR we have. Right, right. And another thing is like I have seen a couple of friends there. You know the way they enjoy. We feel jealous. Oh my God! They go to all the time these hills, you know, temples, you know, uh, enjoying any uh, celebrations or whatever the occasion it is. They celebrate. They they are like family. Everyone is like enjoying in a different, you know, uh, let it be you know Diwali, let it be Holi, let it be Christmas, let it be you know New Year. It is kind of okay. You don't feel to in two years to go to home. Right, you will feel like, oh, this is my second home, but this is my first home even a lot of times. So yeah, uh, to your point, CFTRA, it is like a vast culture also. We follow every culture. Previously, there was C from each state, one state, one state. Okay, but now it has changed based on the merit list. So this made us to follow culture of each oh. every. So we do garba, we do dasra, we do ona, we do every function, every festivals. So this makes you a unique also. See if they are right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I got it. Okay, so I mean, look, this thing I was not knowing. In fact, he earlier there was I mean one seat, one state. I mean, see how it is going to you know. Yes, UP is so much big. Gujarat is so much big. 
have you there's one seat told how much big competition it is it's very you know well when well, well, talking about also you see okay oh, what's it i mean there a lot of people as going to i generally one question that arises in my mind uh, what do you think like how many students is to to appear per year now the competition also has increased because you know people know about cft and earlier even when i was doing graduation i was not that means you know aware of that what cft is yeah people are uh, like <laughs> who are related in this field they are much more aware of the cftri or else people are little aware of cftri maybe a, mm. a lot of reasons might be there and to have uh, like who are in front of the food tech background and farm science they'll be knowing what actually cftri means and nowadays because of this uh, upcoming industries and startups people are knowing cftri but not that much right. also Okay, so uh, uh, like this is our, uh, you know, we'll record in two sessions, Sarja. Uh, the second session we'll be talking about uh, how to prepare and what should be the, you know, focus subjects, uh, what should be the criteria when should someone start. But meanwhile, before uh, ending this meet, uh, what I was asking is like, uh, in in as a culture that has a very job culture in CFT, that is a professional course. What do you feel like? Except this job culture, and then you know, posting PhD. Uh, either do we have some kind of entrepreneurship as well? People think about to innovate something or bring something new to the you know society. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. So CFTR not only gives you opportunity for placements and for higher studies, it also gives you opportunity for your startups and entrepreneurship development. Okay, where mm-hmm. you can have your own startup. There are so many scientists who help you from the base, from the uh, food step, till the top. So you can have even startups also. I have seen there are so many uh, our seniors who are thinking of going startups. There are some workshops will go for startups also. They'll give you so many yeah. technologies for the startup students who come to them who like who seek for start who are into startups. They'll give you that also. And uh, CFTR is all about technology, as I feel. When it comes to masters for us, like food technologies, it comes for technology only. You can have lot, lot more technologies invented by scientists over there, so you can access to them very easily when you go for masters. See, being that, being the student of that university or that institute, where you have a number of technologies who have been taken patent by the scientists, which are not yeah. can. You can't even find in Google. Those technologies oh. are patented by scientists. They are in the technology. They are in the institute. So when you are a student of that institute, you can literally access very easily. Accessing a oh, technology yeah. the development is all about the moving ahead with the technology and introducing the technology to the people to make uh, work. So uh, thank you, Salja. Uh, uh, in the first session, what we talked about is like how is the journey of CFTRI? What it is, how it is so much famous, why it is the charm or epitome of you know food technology. People you not know, desire, they crave to go there, of course. And uh, of course, the way you explain, uh, I I believe it is going to inspire to the students, and you know it will be clear cut what it is. In the second session, we are going to talk about. uh you know what are the subjects are there especially what should be the strategy when someone should start preparing for cftri uh you know what other scholarships are there okay so thank you for the time being see you bye bye